Are you sick of the same old sci-fi stories? Have you always wanted to travel to a distant planet that has advanced artificial intelligence? And... Amazing Caribbean Rum Cake. Welcome to Bookwitty's Reading with Matt Cherry. I'm your host, Matt Cherry, your go-to guy for recommendations on the best and brightest and undiscovered reads. Just like Lindsay Lohan, science fiction has seen its fair share of highs, and lows. If you're a sci-fi fan, you might sometimes feel like Ripley at the beginning of Alien 3. Disoriented, a bit nauseous, and basically ready to give up. Today, we'll be talking about something that's guaranteed to get you out of this rut. Midnight Robber by Nalo Hopkinson. Who is Nalo Hopkinson? Born in Jamaica, she grew up in Guyana and Trinidad before she moved to Canada. Now, I'm also Canadian, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to share three very Canadian accomplishments with you. Michael Sarah, Mike Myers. Uh, no, other Mike Myers. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And Celine, Di Celine Dion. So, back to Nalo Hopkinson. An accomplished writer with lots of books under her belt, Ms. Hopkinson specializes in speculative science fiction. Midnight Robber takes us to Toussaint, a Caribbean colonized world where ancient culture coexists with advanced technology. As the book opens, Tantan, its main character, is forced into exile on the prison planet known as New Halfway Tree, a place where folkloric characters are real. In an epic story kind of like Harry Potter, or The Lion King, or Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2, she goes from innocent child to fierce warrior in what you could call a coming of age story. The first thing you notice about the book is the style it's written in, a dialect that reflects the Caribbean tradition. This patois injects the book with a musical element that turns run-of-the-mill sentences into little bursts of song. This is gorgeous stuff. And believe me, I know a thing or two about writing beautifully. Okay, uh, apparently I have never written anything beautifully, so thank you for that. Unlike a lot of sci-fi that you're used to, this book doesn't center around North American or European influences. Hopkinson weaves folktales from West Africa, Trinidad and Tobago, just to name a few, into her sci-fi narrative, which is really refreshing. <gasps> folktales are stories, of course, and at its core, this is a story about storytelling. Take the title, for example. The Midnight Robber, a popular character from the Caribbean celebration of Carnival, is a character marked by boastful speech and storytelling abilities. Throughout the book, the Midnight Robber becomes a symbol of hope as Tantan, our protagonist, becomes her own version of the character called the Robber Queen, as she assumes control of her life and rises above her traumatic past, she writes her own story and in the process, becomes a legend. Let's pause for a second and ask ourselves, what is life but a story? A story that if we're lucky, we get to write ourselves, or at least have JLo play us in the movie version. To sum it up, Midnight Robber, just like the finest Caribbean rum cake, is rich and flavorful, and once you're finished, will leave you completely elated and slightly intoxicated. So if you're in a reading rut and looking to spice up your literary life, get yourself a candlelit room and share a stolen moment with Midnight Robber by Nalo Hopkinson. Can I get some uh, more rum cake? No, okay, don't judge me. If you wanna buy Midnight Robber, click here and let me know what you think of the book by subscribing to the Bookwitty channel and leaving your review in the comment section below. And don't forget, you can always visit bookwitty.com to discover more great reads.